guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Melissa in Minnesota. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. First of all, I'm going to let you guys know I am wearing uh, very little makeup today. I am wearing uh, Plum Sexy Crazy from Red Apple Lipstick on my lips. I'm wearing their mascara. I am wearing um, their Sugar and Spice eyeshadow. I multifunction their products because I, I'm again I'm getting away from certain ingredients and things and I was using Tarte but their blushes have the first ingredient or second ingredient is talc so I am going away from that. Uh, Red Apple Lipstick does not use uh, talc in their products so I'm using that as a blush and that's the uh, Sugar and Spice eyeshadow and I do not think that is up on their website. Contact Ashley, Andrea, <laughs> or Jay and let them know that color needs to come back in stock. I'm hoping it's just sold out because they had their winter collection sale and I will be very, very sad if that happens. But uh, let's see, what else am I wearing? Am I wearing anything else? Oh, and the cover effects, I am wearing the Mineral Foundation in P30. So uh, that is what I'm wearing on my face right now. And uh, let's go ahead again and get started. The video I'm going to do today is about some of my uh, cover effects foundations and these are the ones that I picked up in the last Sephora VIB sale. Uh, I am not going to renew my VIB status. I just simplify my life. I found products that I really like and I don't feel like I need to keep trying things. I've reached a pretty much a stage in my life that uh, there are very few things that I want to be a guinea pig for as far as being gluten-free and uh, they can label it gluten-free but I found that uh, now it seems like that status is just becoming a label for some things and they're not completely uh, fitting into that category and they're not com completely fitting into that lifestyle that I need anymore. I am extremely sensitive, as I've said in past videos, for gluten and I don't want to continue to, to keep putting myself out there and, and risking my health to be a guinea pig for some of these products. I have found some that I really enjoy, a cure being one of them, Red Apple Lipstick. Those are companies that I can trust, that I know so far have my back and I have not become ill in using any of their products. And uh, one other product, which is why I'm doing this, that I picked up in the last Sephora uh, sale was Cover Effects. Now, Cover Effects products are packed with vitamins, emollients, redness reducers, plus they are free of the five inflammatory ingredients. They are free of parabens, fragrance, gluten, mineral oil, and talc. Talc is one of the ingredients that I am trying to replace in my products. There are some uh, companies that are gluten-free, and I will go ahead and say Too Faced is one that I was able to trust most of their products. I would not try any of their lip products or lip um, sticks or anything like that, but their eyeshadows and their bronzers, those I really liked, and I did not have an issue with uh, gluten per se in those products but a lot of those the first ingredients was talc and I've done some research on that and it's linked to can the company just a little bit about it was started in 2000 they didn't reach the US until 2007 I actually found them in 2013 when I was diagnosed with my severe gluten intolerance they are vegan and cruelty free my top concern is 100% gluten free and I haven't had no issues with that uh, let's see, anything else? This is just going to be what I picked up in the Sephora sale. I have pretty much almost all of the Cover Effects products, I think, at this point. Uh, I don't have any other brushes. I prefer some other brushes instead that are a little less expensive, and they, they work just as well, I think. Uh, the Real Techniques and some Up and Up brushes from Target, the Eagle Tools brushes, but I don't really uh, use those too much for my powders. But I will show you what I use and what I have. Uh, I will say that the first thing that I picked up, I wanted to try the Illuminator by Cover Effects. This is in the color Sunlight. And then I also picked up the uh, bronzers in Sunkissed and Suntan. There are three bronzers. There's one other one, and I'm not sure exactly what that one is. And I believe there are two Illuminators. There's Sunlight and Moonlight, and I did get Sunlight. Moonlight is the lighter color. And then I uh, let you guys know that I was wearing the P30 in the color uh, and it would be the Press Mineral Foundation, 
and uh, I went ahead and picked up P40, which is the next car darker color. They, uh, I should say, they had a wide range of colors, but the first letters, P, would be a pink undertone. They have N for neutral undertone, which is for people that have both yellow and uh, pink undertones, and they also had G, which is golden for people with yellow undertones. I have a, uh, I would say, a good mix of I could use the neutral and I've tried that that might be a better color for me in the summer but I've gone toward the P for the pink undertones I'm very fair skin I tend to burn very easily I used to not when I was growing up I was very very dark my <laughs> nickname was actually black fairy uh, because I would get so dark in the summers and I started out with very olive complected skin as I've gotten older my skin has gotten lighter so I've noticed that there tends to be a little bit of a pink undertone and this I think works very well for me so what I am trying to replace and these were gluten free but they're just because of the ingredients I am going away from them was the Too Faced and this is old packaging this was the Chocolate Soleil the milk chocolate bronzer and hopefully with the way that the sun is going that we can work with this so the two bronzers that I picked up from Cover Effects this is the suntan and I'm going to see if I can do this so this is definitely a darker color which I think will work very well um, for summer but if you look in the pan, these look almost to me, and I'm not sure how it's going to appear on camera, but it looks very close. So this is the first color I picked up. And then I thought, well, maybe I should try Sun Kissed. So then I picked up, and these are the Sun Kissed looks almost identical to me. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. And I will put swatches up of these so that you guys will know. So these are all the colors together of course you have uh, the one on this side is the chocolate soleil by Tarte then you have the sun kissed is in the middle and then the sun tan is on the the one right here and so you guys can see the differences in color there so I'm gonna see if I can do this without blinding the other product I am trying to replace is hourglass this was the dim light the incandescent light and the radiant light the ambient powder collection so uh, I thought well maybe I'm going to try to replace this which a lot the bronzers um, this is a lot like sun kiss now I don't have anything I think moonlight will be this color but I don't really use this light color very much and so yeah I just thought eh, I'll go away with that but this color right here and I will show you because the next product that I picked up is the illuminating this is the one I use the most this is the illuminating powder by cover effects and this is in sunlight I think that this is a very good dupe for uh, the color right here which I believe is radiant light if I'm reading it correctly if you look at the back I think this is dim light incandescent light incandescent light is definitely the one in the middle and then radiant light I'm thinking this will be a very good dupe for this color I mean, if I look at them side by side, they look very, very similar. And if I swatch them, and it is hard, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this, but this would be the Radiant Light by Hourglass, and this is the Cover Effects, the Illuminating Powder in Sunlight. So I really, even though this is kind of a lighter color, I do not think I'm going to be able to tell too much of a difference. It's going to give me somewhat of a glow, but I'm not going to have to uh, fight with it. The ingredients will be better. Uh, like I said and so I mean if if I look at the ingredients online of this hourglass which I'm not sure if they're cruelty free or vegan or I know they're this is gluten free I haven't had any issues with it but um, you know it's just one of those things where I think I can find better ingredients and I, I'm leaning a little more toward cover effects for for them I mentioned that I got the P40 and again the light sorry about that the P40 in the in the mineral foundation what I'm currently using I mentioned was P30 and this is a very good color for me I think there we go this is what P30 looks like and there is not that much difference than P40 so I figure 
if you guys can see. I could probably use this for warming up my complexion a little bit. Um, right now, <laughs> I'm going to end up, this, this is a little too, uh, not light, but it, toward January, February, this will be a really great color for me because I will get very, very pale. I already am, but uh, paler. And then I think this color will just warm my complexion up just a little bit. And, but I really, I like the bronzers. And if you wanted to, you really could get away with just using a powder foundation, a couple shades and versus the bronzer. But because I'm trying to simplify things in my life, and I am not going to renew that VIB status where I get the 20% off for shopping. And I believe that's once or twice a year. I can't remember. Spring and fall, maybe. Since I'm not going to be able to have a 20% off coupon anymore without spending 300 and something dollars, which I'm not going to do because there just aren't that many gluten-free products that I want to try on Sephora anymore, then I thought, well, I will go ahead and get some bronzers and things. That way I have them in the summer and I can transition that P30 uh, into spring and then the P40 will be summer and then as I get darker in the summer then maybe I can add some bronzer so that way I can kind of um, make my products last a little longer do a little bit more uh, I don't since I don't have a lot of blushes now uh, I'm trying to get rid of all my tart Amazonian clay because the first ingredient of that is talc then I can use some of the bronzers to add a little bit more of a healthier glow use those as cheek colors for some definition and that's what I'm kind of going to end up doing so um, I want to show you guys what I use for my bronzers and my foundations for the bronzers I like to use this was in um, a spring haul that I did it was like a beauty haul and it was like a five I got it from Target it was five brushes from Nick and uh, was it Nick and Sam Chapman these are the real technique brushes and this is one of those in the five pack or in, in the box set of five and this is a duo fiber face brush I really like this for bronzers uh, it is more packed with bristles here very lightly packed here I don't know if you guys can see um, the difference so you can pretty much you can see my hand um, coming through that for my powdered foundations the mineral foundations I like something a little more denser this was also in that uh, <laughs> box set this did not have it, it's odd enough four out of the five brushes had Nick and Sam Chapman's logo on it and then the Real Technique name and then what the brush was. This one had nothing on it. This is actually the cheek brush, but I find this works really well for multifunctional purposes. I like to put my foundation on with this because it pr is a lighter coverage. It is not so heavy. If I do want something that's heavier, this is the up and up brush that I got. This is very densely packed. This is the one that I said that feels like um, my little bunnies poofy tail willow I mean it look it's like the same size it's packed really dense and this one will provide more of a uh, medium to full color coverage this is a light to medium coverage so uh, this is the real techniques this is the up and up brush and this was like under five dollars at Target so you cannot beat that but that's the way I like to apply those now for um, the illuminator this is the Real Techniques snare, but this is the very small brush. Uh, uh, this one is actually the setting powder. This was made for setting underneath the eyes, but I like this for uh, illuminating powder, just powder on just on the tops of my cheeks, and I find this works really well for that. Uh, just a very small, fine application of that, and then take something like the, this was the cheek brush, and then just kind of blend that out and this is actually what I applied my foundation with and also that uh, red apple uh, sugar and spice eyeshadow for my cheek color I used this brush for everything today and that worked out really well I believe that was it I showed you guys what I picked up in the haul what I'm why I picked it up to replace certain items but if there's any other questions that you guys have feel free to leave that in the comments down below and uh, I believe that's it I will do another video uh, about all of my cover effects products and letting you guys know the differences between the uh, foundations that I have. I have CC BB cream, the cream foundation, and then also the powder foundations. If you guys want to know those, what kind of skin type they work for and how they function. 
So that's everything in the little Sephora haul that I had. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.